Hello, we are in Monaco. Um, As you can see, beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> we're in a tunnel. Um, For a tunnel, it's pretty good. Yeah, nice mirrored. And we parked in France and took the train here because, well, Monica doesn't like motorhomes and so there's nowhere to park anywhere near um, and public transport in Monaco is currently free so we can take the bus basically anywhere around the city and apparently it's meant to be free so nice I'm stuck on repeat I see the same skies every night Oh, I need a sign, I need a reason why I'm alive Cause I can figure out why everything around me Just feels so far away I'm going round in circles, look at the What is that, Haley? Rubbish cleanup? Yes, it's a rubbish cleanup. Isn't that cool? Because, of course, in a harbor you have extra... a lot of people and a lot of things going on. So there's a rubbish cleanup here. I've never seen them like this. I think it's quite good. Especially interesting, I think, is that they are quite empty. So either they got emptied very recently, or it's very clean here, which is also a possibility. For lunch, we're at the Marche de la Condamine. It's an indoor market with lots of food store stalls. Half of them were closed, but um, we went to Mesa Deli, a Lebanese food. I've got a wrap with a falafel. Paul's got a burger and chips and we've got three different sauces. How are the sauces? Those chips, I ate about five, just saying. <laughs>
geht. We're stuck. Can't get through. Have to go the other way. <laughs> Those lots are a little bit mud. Tim, you would feel that, wouldn't you? Well, besides the heights, but the style that they are. Essentially, those guys are gardeners. And they cut back all the stuff here. Like down there. For example, you can see very clearly that they have been cutting something back. But it's like somehow, imagine you start your apprenticeship career as a gardener. And then eventually, this is what you do. And now they climb for who is faster. No, I don't think they actually were climbing for who is faster. But it looked very much like it. Now they somehow changed something. Because they have a loop to step into. I had long of closure, and I'm wondering why. Now, no matter what I do, I keep on falling for you. But I also wanted to say that I thought it was also very clean. I don't know how they manage it, but normally you have that in every big town, in every big city, you have it that, I don't know, it's just dirty. Like, so fast it gets dirty. But in Monaco, we didn't really see one corner that was just filthy and dirty and full of rubbish. It wasn't really the case. They were all over the town, there were these people that just cleaned up. And they were very respected by everybody, I had the feeling. Um, and they just cleaned up and it just all together looked very clean. And on top of that everything was just looking very green. On top of roofs uh, there were parks everywhere and it was just beautiful. Considering the amount of green. This is one of those underground tunnels. They're just like connecting the city with escalators and um, lifts. And again, plants. It's really cool actually how much effort there is in the underground bits instead of just like a, sh a graffiti tunnel that smells like pee. Um, another impression I had, kind of a negative one, 
uh, there is a lot of flags and I don't know for me that's just really weird like I don't know every shop had flags in their windows and the streets sometimes there are streets with like a bunch of five flags just next to each other and there were so many things in the colors of the flags like in the shop windows there were decorations in red and white like everything was red and white and there were christmas lights in red and yes, white the christmas there was like decorations a, were red and white there was this shop front and there was a long stripe of like a long thick stripe of red and white um, christmas lights but the one side was red and the other side was white so yeah. it was uh, half red half white you know red and white is also just very christmasy colors but like they made it very like flag yeah orientated as everything else was yeah i didn't find and it so disturbing but i do need to agree that there were loads of flags and i don't know if that's because there was like some national day that was important and so they had that up or if that's just all the time like that but I felt it was really a bit much, like, not everywhere needs to have it, I think, but... The thing that I noted is, even in November, there were, like, plenty of tourists. Which I found very impressive, because, like, otherwise we have the experience that it's very little tourists. But Monaco seems to be a spot all year round. I don't know how it is going to be in season, but either way. But the few people that actually lived in that city, or in that state, in that country, they, I had the feeling they all knew each other. There was all the time these people that were just stopping at any sort of situation on the road and just started talking to each other and it felt like they were knowing each other. So either this town is just full of tourists and the actual people living in there is just, I don't know, 5,000, like we village. Or they're just very friendly to each other and um, just start talking to each other whether they know each other or not. But I thought that very nice. Um, I really love the simplicity of the public transport. There were seven bus lines. That was it. Seven bus lines that could just take you anywhere. And in the time that we were there, all the buses were free, including the a uh, boat bus, which was very cool. And I think it's because they're trying to increase the popularity of uh, public transport again. I think before COVID it was very popular and through COVID it got less popular. And um, yeah, they want to increase the use of public transport. And so they made it free for everyone for, I think, seven weeks. And I think normally it's anyway quite cheap, but the fact that we could just get on a bus, get off where we fancy, didn't have to pay a thing, really great. And it was easy. It was easy to understand. Yeah. It was not a mess at all. Yeah. There is one bus company, seven bus lines, and a boat bus, and that's it. And you can just get on and off, and it's not going to take you out of the city, unless you want to get on a French bus. And you're good. You can go anywhere within the city and get back. And easily. we did use that. Yeah. And it was great. Because it was easy to understand and you just got through the whole city within no time. I also found very impressive how they um, had this town in many layers. Which I somehow struggle to understand. But <laughs> there were, there's like the ground level. Then there's an underground level, probably even like two or three in some stages. And then there's high houses and the whole thing is on the, on the slope, on a big hill. So therefore you have, you have a very vertical city. So you can travel through it like this, but you can also travel through it like this. <laughs> um, there were elevators anywhere, there, everywhere even in places where you wouldn't have thought it. There were shopping malls under, this, under the roads. There were bridges over another bridge. There were tunnels that the, the, the train was going underneath the city, but, or underneath the whole country. 
We didn't actually see the train once, but it was there and it was a big train station. And that was only one thing. Then there were many other things, like the whole parking. They have no parking, they have no space for parking on the well ground level. So they have parking houses underneath, but like so many and so many layers, we once got lost in one. Very weird to experience, but also quite impressive. I guess they have little space, so they do, they do need to manage it very well. Yeah, so overall, Monaco seemed really great. Uh, we have mostly good impressions of it, and I think they really manage the city very well. And the country. The country. The city actually goes outside the country, which is a bit funny. But yeah, they manage the space really well, and. I think they really do a good job, and I like it. Um, and yeah, now we're back in France, so see you in the France video. <laughs>